What a day for moving in. Mm, Comfortable out there, not yep. too hot, dry. Not too humid. <laughs> yes. I remember moving into my dorms when I was in college, just Sweltering. Oh, yeah. Sweltering. Yep. No air conditioning, third floor. A oh, rough yeah. One. I was yeah, with so you on that. Yeah. Very fortunate <laughs> crowd there today. Yeah, so honestly, going into this weekend, overall, I think it's pretty good. Okay. We do have a couple of rounds of rain to talk about, but I think it ended up the timing is pretty lucky. So unless you're going camping, um, I think it looks pretty good. So we'll talk about that in a second. But this morning was actually our coldest morning since the springtime for a lot of us. Low temperatures for most of us out there dropped into the 40s, got down to 38 in Holton. Keep in mind, our average low temperature is 57. Now we were able to bounce back into the upper 60s to lower 70s. This is still a little bit cooler than average, but pretty similar to where we were yesterday because we're under the same Canadian air mass. Now that air mass brought us plenty of sunshine yesterday and today was no different. Just take a look at that visible satellite imagery. Beautiful day out there today, but things will be changing as we get into the weekend. Mostly clear skies out there tonight, but we'll start to develop a little bit of fog as we get into early tomorrow morning. And then before that cold front starts to move through, we'll start to see an increase in some cloud cover. Now, I think the first half of the day on Saturday is going to be dry, albeit more cloudy than the past few days. But then we start to see this cold front approaching towards the northwest. And I would say just after lunchtime is where we'll start to see some of those showers and embedded thunderstorms move into areas of the northern mountains. Now this cold front will continue to move across the state overnight Saturday into early Sunday. Now some of these pockets of rain could be fairly heavy at times and might cause some areas of isolated flooding, but particularly in flood prone areas. Now, most of the heavy rain is actually moved out by the time we get into early Sunday morning. Could see a couple of showers lingering, particularly in the down east area on Sunday, but most of us will be dry by the time we get into the early afternoon except for the fact that we'll have some instability in the atmosphere. So there is a chance of just a pop up shower or a thunderstorm particularly through areas of northern and western Maine in the afternoon on Sunday. But then again, most of us will be dry here. Then we have a secondary trough that brings in some more chances of some scattered showers, and that will be overnight Sunday into early Monday morning. So we kind of lucked out with the timing of these systems. Overall, that trough will have less rain than the cold front Saturday night. And then we end up with Monday being the driest day of this stretch and with a little bit more sunshine, albeit it will be a little bit cooler. So now I know we have a lot going on for this weekend, so let's break it down. First half of the day on Saturday will be dry. Then we'll start to see some of those afternoon showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening on Saturday, continuing overnight into Sunday morning. And then that rain will start to taper off, but there is still a chance of some afternoon thunderstorms, particularly through areas of Western Maine on Sunday. Then the nicest day of the stretch will be Monday, but it'll be a little bit cooler and a bit breezy, especially in the afternoon. Marine forecast sees two to three feet. Ocean temp 66 degrees. So I Labor Day weekend is kind of what they call the unofficial end of summer. So I call it that summer is making its last stand as we go into this weekend because it does get a little bit humid, especially for the day Sunday. It'll also be the warmest day of this stretch. Temps warming into the upper 70s, couple of low 80s out there possible. But then Brian and Amanda, once we get into next week, it's going to be very similar to kind of the way it was today. Very refreshing, a bit more sunshine and a little bit cool. So. Labor Day weekend overall looks pretty good. I think right. a lot of us going into it uh, will say, all right, I think it worked out well. Okay. We got lucky with the timing of that rain. Yeah, for sure. That's good news. Dana, thank you.